What is up guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Forza Horizon 3, and today we are going to be unlocking the... Well, our primary goal is to is going to be to unlock the Porsche 918 Spider through the current Forza-thon. Now, I've gone to the West Point Cross Country Circuit, and basically the re whole entire reason why I'm here is because you need to get an Airborne Pass skill to get the 918. And what better way to do it than a buggy race? I feel like a buggy race would be the most logical way uh, to grab yourself an Airborne Pass. And actually, this might be the way to do it right here. Oh, no. Oh, I did. I got it. I got an airborne pass. So literally, all we got to do is win. The, well, not even that. We got to, like, just finish now. But okay. Well, that'll be another airborne pass for you. Thank you. So if you want an easy way to get the 918 Spider. Jeez, these guys are pushing me around like crazy. But yeah, no. If you want an easy way to get the 918 Spider, come do this race. Uh, come do this race. And it will be, like, in the bag for you. Hello. Oh, God. I'll admit that was a bit dirty. But, uh, we'll gloss over that for now. Oh, God. Oh, crap. You know what? I'm gonna let just, uh, Slap just jump into the wall right there. <laughs> and I'm gonna break right at the top of the hill. Oh, God. Hey, yo, hey, it's Jeep guy. Out of my way. One guy left. We passed almost the entire field in the first lap. And now, literally, this is my first time today of playing the game, so I gotta warm up a little bit. Well, that was my warm up. Now I think I'm good to go, or at least I should be. Hero. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. He's a little quicker than the others, I will admit, but get a nice little airborne pass. And we got him. Well, kind of, sort of got him. Ooh, damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Get yourself in the proper direction, please. Please. Go, 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 go. Come on. Nope. 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 Yep, guarantee you he's going to jump too far, which he did. We can power on to the finish. What up? <laughs> Little brake-induced drift. Power it out of the corner, and I see the fit. Well, actually, you know what? There's a problem. We got one more lap to do, but that's not necessarily a problem. That just gives us more time to put more distance between us and our opponents. And by the way, if you go around the outside of that bowl... You will get so much further ahead of everybody else since they all go through the water and lose time. It's much, much, much better of a way to go. Oh, God. Oh, God. It was like, go left or right, go left or right, and I didn't pick left or right soon enough. This time I'm picking right, because right seems like it makes more sense. Oh! What the hell? Okay, that was weird. That was really close, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, dear. Someone hasn't had a good day. <laughs> oh, God. I'm about to lap Nick. Nick, this is a... This is a... No, oh, this is a call-out. This is a call-out, bro. Oh, yeah. Total call-out. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. If you guys watch Nick and you watch me as well. And across the jump. Thought I was going to say across the line, didn't you? But I got you. Oh, come on. Staying full on the power now. And across the line. Not a problem. So we should now have our hands on uh, a very nice shiny new 918 Spider. And I didn't even look at the other Forza Thon challenges at all. So I have no clue what the other ones were. Uh, but regardless, we should be getting our hands on a 918. Grab our prizes and get fan rewards done. And we should. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just. Mm. Just load. I want my 918. Yes. Airborne Hero completed. 2014 918 Spider. Oh, yes. Let's go to. Eh, let's grab it from. Let's grab it from the Yara Valley one. Everybody avoids that one, and I'm like. 
I like that area. That area's got some really cool roads. It's got some nice, like, flowing driving roads. I like that area. People avoid it, but I like it. I think it's kind of the underappreciated festival, you know? Although I never go to the... I, I, well, I shouldn't say never. I rarely ever go to the Byron Bay one. The Byron Bay one is, like, the one that I use by far the least out of all of the festivals. Which I'm not sure why. It's not like I don't like it. It's just that I just don't use it as much. Alright. Sort. Manufacturer. Well, I didn't really do much. Filter. There we go. Hypercars. There. Hypercars. Should have our 918. Hell yes. Alright, I am so pumped to drive this thing. Holy crap, I'm so I'm so excited, dude. This car is is just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And it was really cool seeing the 918 be the last car in the la like the car for the last race in the Forza RC or the Forza Racing Championship if you guys watched that. Oh, the wing comes up when you um when you hit the explode button. There's your frunk. <laughs> now we can close all this stuff up and well, actually Nice thing, too, is that gorgeous carbon fiber underneath the bodywork. Absolutely beautiful. But, without any further ado, it's time to drive. And let's see real quick. If I do... Let's see, if I did a launch, it, 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 it really gets out of the hole. Holy crap. Revs to, what, like 9,300 RPM? 9,200, 9,300? Let's see. Oh, 9,500. Bounces the rev limiter at 9,500 RPM. Good God. The steering, too, is crazy. Like, this car is the most planted yet most darty car I think I've ever driven in Horizon 3. It's so... Wow. I thought it was narrow enough to fit in between. I obviously was very mistaken. The sound when it shifts, too. Listen to that. Just sounds so crazy. And when I say when it shifts, I mean when, like, the sound of the car shifting. I'm using manual with clutch, just in case anybody got that mistaken. Hello. <laughs> God, it's so fast. And this is stock. Imagine what one of these can do fully built. In seventh gear, we're doing 220 now, just a casual... 220 mile an hour stroll, and we're still going around corners. That's the thing, 223 miles an hour, and this thing is just as darty as it was before. It's so good. It's darty, yet plant. Look how it is maintaining that 220 mile an hour speed around these sweepers. No problem at all. God, this car is a absolute monster. I think I can almost completely and honestly say that this is the... Whoop! We've gone off. We've gone off. <laughs> I, I think I can honestly say, though, that this is the most planted car in Horizon 3. There's nothing that comes close to this. There is really absolutely nothing that comes close to this in terms of how planted this car is. It's so, so good. At these speeds, I, I, can't, I can't even, like, have an opinion about any other cars. Like, this car is the, this car is the king of being planted at these speeds. Wow. Wow, 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 what a car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, that's the thing, and with how darty this is, that's the only way we would have been able to avoid something like that back there. You know, with a near miss like that. And it's so fast, too, that just by driving it, you, you, you build up skill change like nothing. All right, drift zone, let's see what happens. Oh god, it's not gone well. I was like, that first part has not gone well. Although, you would be surprised at how willing the 918 is to get sideways. It really is a lot more willing to get sideways than you might think. It's got enough rear bias that it just it just slides the back end around. You can use the front end to save you, but you can also push the car around. Oh no, don't you dare. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, like, okay. That was the craziest save I think I've ever had. Almost 100,000 points on a really bad run. 
If we can do that on a really bad run, that makes me think that this car has a whole hell of a lot more in it. And I want to test that theory. Do not hit me, Jeep guy. I swear. I was just doing that to try to keep my other skill combo alive. Can't really transition this car as well as some other cars, and it does push a little bit, but you can save it, though. Mmm... Oh god. Come on. You have to really, like, kind of fight with it to keep the combo going sometimes. That's what I'm really finding. That was nowhere near as good as the downhill run. Nowhere near as good. But if you're just going back and forth and you're ripping the e-brake occasionally, that, that wasn't even... I didn't even touch the e-brake on a lot of those. That is just, like... That is monstrous. Don't you dare. Woo! I would have been mad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, what do we want to try to finish this off with? Oh, should we risk the combo? Ah, screw it. That's not going to end well. Damn. Well, if we had landed that, it would have been crazy. But, god. I, I, I love this car. I freaking love this car. It is so crazy, dude. It's so crazy, and I think it's the most planted car I have ever freaking driven in Forza Horizon 3. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.